All right, guys. Okay, so let's kind of review exactly where we're at. Talk about kickboxing range. Our main objective is to do what? Flip the pain, right? Okay. But it's nice to know, but you have to know when to do it, right? So we talked about some of the things that we can see in other people, right? So we have distance that they are to us. If someone is all the way across Lake Street over there, I'm not worrying about them too much, okay? Right? At least from a physical hand-to-hand -hand situation, right? On the other hand, we also have pressure. Pressure, in my mind, just means a person is closing in distance now pretty quickly. All right, you know. Talked about body language, which is obviously the nonverbal stuff, but then we also talked about the verbal stuff, right? Talked about how important that is. Then we got into these two little red points here, saying, listen, we have control over the distance that we have with people, but then we also have control over what? Looking at them, we said. But what is that? When we start paying attention to all these things, what's the big kind of umbrella word? Anybody know? Awareness? Thank you. Who said that? Ruben. How did I not know? It's awareness, right? Right? It's awareness. All of this stuff is all about awareness. We talk about kickboxing range. If you don't have awareness in kickboxing range, I don't care how fast of a jab you can throw. I don't care how strong you are. I don't care if your footwork looks like Muhammad Ali's. If you don't have awareness, you're at a loss. Everybody follow me on that? Okay. You have to have awareness. Everything that we've done the last, you know, half dozen drills has all been about awareness. This is just breaking down awareness. You follow me on that? Okay. This is just making it operational what we can see in other people, and what we then have direct control over. Everybody follow me on that? Only once you have that can you do what? Yeah. See guys, I can have you guys do a bunch of, you know, eye jab and groin kick drills and all that other stuff. Right? And that's all fine up against a stationary target. It's even probably even cool up against somebody that you know is coming at you for the intent of punching you in the face. But what did I start to do in the last couple drills to start taking those things away from you? I start saying not just one person can attack you, well, how did I change that on up? Anybody can attack you, right? What was the next piece of, was the next little variable that I put in there just to kind of even screw things up for you even more? I added a weapon. Now, did I let everybody have a weapon? No, in the first group, what I let out of uh, seven or eight of you feeders, I let how many people have a weapon? One, okay? So what did that do to people who were receiving? What did it do to your awareness? <laughs> Second group, what did I do? I gave you how many? Maybe two, okay? What did that do to your awareness? Same thing, does that make sense? Okay, right? So does everybody understand that it's, it's great to come to, I mean, it's, it, it's all nice to come to self-defense class and learn techniques. But if you don't have some of these core attributes, all the techniques in the world are not going to help you. And at the base, you know, I, I think I read this on an internet quote, so I can't claim, you know, fame to it. But they said something about, you know, basic self-defense is all about awareness. Basic self-defense is all about awareness, right? I mean, think about our defense department within the U.S. I mean, how much money must we spend on intelligence? What's intelligence? Awareness. awareness. <laughs> okay, right? It's just another way to say awareness, right? Okay. All right. Any questions on any of the stuff that we've done then for the last, you know, however long, hour or so? All right, great job. Uh, let's go ahead and let's take another quick little two-minute break, digest that stuff, and then for you guys who are hanging for the 11 o'clock hour, just once again bring it on in and have a seat, and we'll start with whoever we have here. Okay? Great job so far. Great job.